Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I got inspired to do this video because I saw these jigs. Um, I was on the VMC website and uh, these jigs, they're, they're called twitching jigs. They piqued my interest. Um, now, from what I understand, these are kind of designed for uh, trout and salmon, um, river fishing. Uh, but, I don't know, I really like the way they look. I like uh, early season, I use a marabou jig, let's see, uh, like this, um, for bass fishing. Um, you just cast it out, and basically it's almost a do nothing thing. You just retrieve it slow and steady, and that marabou just kinda has a little wriggle to it. And it's really good when the water's cold. Um, Let's see, let's throw them out. It's something that's not really big right now. Like there's so many, there's always the newest, latest, greatest um, lure that some of this stuff gets forgotten about. And I'm, I'm really glad that uh, I saw these because it reminded me that I had a hole in my tackle of, you know, the hair jig. And like these bucktails, these are really good early in the year, um, and they're also really good for uh, like walleye uh, in the river, um, bass. Yeah, I, I like to use them in a, a fast pace. Well, that's not true, not fast, but a jerky motion. So what I'll do is throw it out, let it hit the bottom, and then you kind of pop it along. So it's, it's similar, uh, if you check out our video on the cold water smallmouth, uh, well, we were using ripping wraps, same thing. You just pop it, you don't want to move it like maybe six inches to a foot and then it goes down and it's a fast reaction strike, but it's also slow moving in general, the amount of ground you're covering um, and the amount of time. So it's like quick movements, short quick movements, slowly throughout you know your retrieve. So if that makes sense, you're getting the reaction strike, but you're also keeping it in front of them for a little bit longer than if you were, say, burning a crankbait through there or a spinnerbait or something. Um, so, yeah, just doing a quick video here, basically, on hair jigs. Uh, there's different, you know, applications for them all. These, uh, so this is the one I normally use. This one is one of the new VMC twitching jigs, which I think should work in a very similar way. You know, I'm gonna try to cast it out, uh, let it sink a little, and retrieve it at a nice, slow, steady speed. And this, this is, uh, I think it's rabbit hair, is what it said. And I don't know, I'm just really interested to try these. I think they're gonna have a good action. They come in some really unique colors, like this one's black and purple. I really like that. Uh, maybe, you know, low light conditions early in the morning, just before dark, you, you know, bring it above the fish in a nice, slow, steady. I think it's gonna silhouette well. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the river, uh, probably jigging with these. Other bucktails for some walleye really quick here. Um, I'm definitely going to try them on a river back home. Um, I have in mind where I usually catch some nice brown trout. I'm going to see. Normally I do that with a regular jig head and like uh, Berkeley Galt minnow. You'll see in one of our videos um, the one where it was snowing out for the browns. That's how we were fishing and I think these can be fished in a similar situation. There's a couple of trailers I would use. I'm going to show you here. Uh, I don't know. Let's take... Um, one of these, this is a 3 8 and if you want to elongate the profile on it, just take, you know, these are um, Kitech Easy Shiners, one of my favorite uh, kind of finesse swim baits. Slide it up on there. Actually, you know what I would do? This is a little long, so just trim that down a little bit the quick way. Pop it on right about there, and then that'll give you a little bit of extra weight uh, with the plastic for casting distance as well as bulk out that profile some and then a little bit of extra action on the tail so it's gonna you're gonna hop that along the bottom real quick like that and that's just a really good trigger for a lot of different fish species 
Oop, put that that one. And so this one, uh, that was a paddle tail. That's a straight tail. Same thing. Um, you know, I'd put it on more so these more traditional bucktails than the um, those twitching jigs. Those I think are more of their own. Not that you couldn't put a trailer on it, but they have that little bit of rabbit hair trailer out the back. So, like this one too. You're just giving it a longer profile. And this is, like, literally anything will eat this. Um, this would be excellent for schoolie stripers popping along, uh, largemouth, smallmouth, uh, you know, uh, pickerel, pike, trout, anything really. It's just a really good presentation to have in your arsenal. And then, um, this is another trailer I would use with it. This is, uh, oh, it's a Strike King Rage Tail Menace, maybe? Don't quote me on that, but it, it's a Strike King. Um, and same thing, take one of these, you know, you're gonna pop it on there, and this is just gonna give you some uh, action. You can either rig it, these I do two things, either flat like that, give you two little kicks, or you can go ahead and turn it sideways with the jig, and it gives you kind of a, a tall profile, almost like a, a tail versus like a craw kind of style. So, yeah. I just want to take a minute, show you guys these um, hair jigs. You know, it was one of the first things out there way back when, before a lot of lures, you know, that you had a heavy jig head, tie some bucktail to it, and you had a good lure. Um, a lot of things have come along, soft plastics, where people have forgotten about them, but uh, give them a try. Pick some up, try them out. I don't think you won't be disappointed.